a bird's eye view of the park, searching for rhino to be dehorned. Soon, two white rhinos are spotted, immobilized, then dehorned. Samples are taken for research purposes, but it's a costly exercise. We have to measure the horns and then we uh, actually have specific places where we cut them off. Um, and because it's uh, keratin or hair, it's, it's not painful to the rhinos at all. And over time they will regrow that, that horn. Um, and then once we've done the dehorning, we collect blood samples and that's both as a, a, a Department of Environmental Affairs requirement and also we have a biobank. Petroleum Giant has donated jet fuel for the aerial monitoring of the rhinos. About 500 litres of fuel last between two to three hours. And the vastness that Kruger is at two million hectares, uh, it's like trying to find a, a rhino that is not dehorned uh, or, or, de or needs uh, maintenance dehorning. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. It becomes quite, quite costly. To, to curb those costs and to create more, efficient, more efficiency, with today's exercise, we sent out one of the section rangers who's got a, a bat hawk, and they run it at a considerably cheaper cost than the helicopter. Total Energies is confident that its partnership with Sand Parks will help protect endangered species in the park. We try to make the partnership uh, more relevant and uh, we are very much uh, concerned about uh, conservation and uh, protecting biodiversity as well as creating shared value with the community around. And, uh, and this uh, work that we're doing with Sand Park regarding the anti-poaching is really relevant because it helps uh, protecting this biodiversity. In our nature conservation, we have found that the enforcement is now costing us more. I mean, we have moved over a period of five years from over 50 million to about 200 million per year. So partnership like this are very much important in the nature conservation, but it also making sure that our endangered species are actually pre um, preserved. One of the things that we'd like to see is to do meaningful contribution to make sure that future generations are able to see this majestic animal. At least 259 rhinos have been killed in the country since the beginning of the year. Dumel Machoko, SABC News, Kruger National Park.